an extremely miserable day. It's raining and it's grey, um, so the lighting is pretty poopy. I've had to put like a really yellow light on, so right now I look super orange with like a pale chest. That does look really strange. It's because I'm sat directly under a yellow light, so I apologise for that, but it was either that or very, very dark. I'm going to do um, a monthly favourites video, and I don't often do these because I tend to use the same products pretty much all the time, apart from obviously if I find something that I super, super love, and then in which case I will obviously let you guys know. I think the last time I did a favourites was like a July or a June favourites, like last year, but I might start doing these a bit more regularly now. I have started using a lot more products, branching out, using things that I don't normally use. I've just got sort of shoved away in my stash. Um, and yeah, so I just thought I would update you and let you know my April favourites. Because I have loved a lot of new things this month. And also these are like my favourite kinds of videos to watch because, I don't know... I'm going to start with um, something that I've just recently done a blog post on actually, which I'll link uh, below if you want to go and read that, and it is a candle. Now, I am quite the candle lover, um, I do love a good candle, I like to light candles all the time. Um, I feel that they not only just make things smell delicious, but they lift your mood and make you feel happier and more relaxed. So the candle that I've been absolutely loving is this Neom candle, um, it's Neom Organics is the brand, um, we'll put it out there, this is quite a pricey candle. This is made with vegetable wax and pure essential oils um, as opposed to, you know, um, your fake sort of scents, like synthetic scents that they'll put in, which often burn black soot. So this literally burns like a dream. As you can see, you don't get the hard wax around the side that you get with most candles, which always irritates me because I feel like it's such a waste, like a candle will always burn down through the centre and you'll have that horrible bit all around the outside which never tends to burn, and then you try and chip it off the side and push it down and then there's too much wax and then it swallows up the wick and then it's all very messy. But this has been burning for ages and it smells amazing. This has white neroli, mimosa and lemon in it, so... Oh. I could sniff this just all day. I'm scared to burn it to the bottom because then I'll just have to cry. I am going to buy another one though, definitely. Okay, the next thing is um, a blush trio and it is by Sleek. You can see it there. Oops, I'm like showing you the rest of my house. <laughs> These are called Sleek Blush by 3 I think and there are lots and lots of different colours to choose from. I have Lace which is 367 and the colours are Chantilly, Guper, G-U-I-P-U-R, don't know what that means, and Crochet. I think I'm doing that the right way. If I'm not, then it's the other way, but it doesn't actually really say. This is an absolutely amazing palette, and it's so affordable. It's not, I think it's 9 99 for three blushes. Um, and the colour that I've been wearing in a lot of my videos, I've got it on today, I wear this one just the orangey peach, um, with that on top because the middle one has a really gorgeous um, goldy shimmer through it. It kind of reminds me a lot of Deep Throat by NARS. Do a little swatch for you there. Can you see how bright that is? Didn't think this through. They're super, super pigmented. Literally, you just need such a light hand when you're applying these because a lot comes off. Um, plus, they're super affordable and they're available in Superdrug, so they're easy to get hold of and you're not breaking the bank if you don't like it. Um, and also there's so many colours to choose from, and I really think that these three complement each other quite well. Um, so yes, absolutely loving that, pretty much wearing it every single day. Next thing I've been loving is Topshop Nail Polishes. Um, I also did a blog post on this, if you want to read more about it, I'll put it in the um, description box. Namely, the glitters. Um, I have a pink glitter, which is called Adrenaline. Um, just a silver sort of holographic which is Ice Crush and then the more, so there's sort of like a more bluey purple toned one which is Razzmatazz just to get the idea um, they have huge chunks of holographic glitter in them and they just look gorgeous on the nails um, I really like the size of Topshop nail polishes because I don't think that you'd ever waste them because they're not so big that you might not use them all the time um, but they're not like 
absolutely tiny. Um, I just think they're the perfect size and I think I believe they're around five to six pounds depending on the sorts of ones you get. I think the glittery ones are six pounds but the more plain ones are five pounds. I just love the cute packaging, I just love everything about them. I currently have just a white nail polish with the glitter on top, you won't be able to see because I'm too far away. But um, yeah, I really, really, really love these and they look super pretty on your toes too. Just to brighten up these horrible, dull, supposed to be spring, but is definitely not spring weather. Um, another product which I've been loving so much that I now have four of them are the um, Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pencils. I was first introduced to these by Louise when we went to Boots in Milton Keynes together and she had been to a Pixi press event, um, which I was invited to but I couldn't go. Um, and she said, you need to try these eye pencils, you will absolutely love them. And she drew them on my hand in boots, and I was like, whoa. When they say silky, they mean silky. Like, these just draw on so creamy and so easily. Um, they just, they're just an absolute dream to use. I absolutely love them. I've got four colours now. <laughs> there is a sort of a shimmery bronze colour, which is called Cafe Gold. A really, really dark matte brown, which is called Black Cocoa, which is my favourite, and that's number four. Number nine, which is Oyster Glow, which is a gorgeous sort of champagne-y, um, pinky colour. And just plain black, which is Black Noir. They go on easily. Uh, there's nothing worse, I find, than an eye pencil that drags your eye. I just think... <sighs> they smudge really nicely, but once you've once they're set, they don't budge, they don't go anywhere. I wear them every day. Absolutely love them. I cannot recommend these highly enough. Okay, sticking with makeup, uh, the next one is a foundation. Now, I am going to do a whole video, it may have to be two because I've tried out so many, of um, high street slash drugstore slash pharmacy, whichever you want to say. Oh look, I've just shown you what it is. Because I just thought, I want to see if there are any decent high street foundations and share my thoughts with you guys. So I have bought quite a lot <laughs> um, and I'm going to do a separate video on them but I just thought I would just show you this one because I absolutely love it and it is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. Anti-fatigue effect and radiant glow and I completely agree with absolutely everything it says on the bottom. I have it in shade True Ivory which is 103. I think I've used about half of this up like you can see it's all like disappearing from the side. I would say this is medium coverage but it's buildable so you could put more on and get a bit more coverage out of it but I just think it's perfect and also it smells amazing too, it smells like fruit, I don't know, it smells nice. Going on to like skincare and skin things now, um, I am loving this Vichy or Vichy or Vichy, I'm not how you, however, blah, blah. I kind of want to say Vichy, I'm going to go with Vichy. I think it's a French brand anyway, so maybe they pronounce it like It is the Refreshing Cleansing Milk. Now, I love my Lizelle Cleanse and Polish. I use it all the time. Um, but I was introduced to this and I absolutely love it. It's a cleansing milk which you put onto a cotton pad and then just rub it across your whole face and you don't have to wash with water or anything. So for those nights where I'm sort of lying in bed and I'm thinking, oh, I just can't be bothered to go and wash my face. And don't lie, we all have moments like that. You can pretend that you don't, but I know you do. <laughs> or maybe when you've not been wearing so much makeup and you just and you know that you probably don't need to cleanse and polish. Um, or just for a refresh, like sometimes I don't wear makeup at all during the day if I'm like sort of pottering around and doing things. There's no need to have a full face of makeup, but it's quite nice to just refresh during the day and keep your skin clean. It leaves my skin feeling fresh, very very clean and so so soft it's actually unbelievable um, I think you can get this online and you can also get this in Boots uh, Superdrug don't stop uh, Vichy but I know that Boots have this so um, yeah if you're like me and you get a bit lazy sometimes in your skincare then go try this because it's amazing also I want to quickly add it says it's for normal to combination and sensitive skin so that pretty much covers everybody apart from obviously if you're super super dry or super super oily so yeah, love that. And last in the body care part, um, I don't know what's going on with this like claw. Um, it's something from the body shop. I don't tend to use their skincare, like face skincare, but their body skincare I absolutely love. Like their um, body butters and 
things for your body like exfoliators and all that sort of thing. I recently tried the body puree. Now I've never heard of a body puree, like what is that? It's the Love Etc Sun Kiss version. Now they have a fragrance called Love Etc which smells amazing. So when I first saw this I was like, this sounds interesting. I like the sound of a body puree. I'll just pump a little bit on my hand. Why is it not pumping? It's just um, kind of like a mixture between a gel and a cream is the best way to describe it. Um, and you just rub it in. I think I put a little bit too much on. It leaves your skin looking, feeling, but more importantly, smelling amazing. If you were going on a night out um, and you want your skin to quickly look really hydrated without having to apply or slather on loads and loads of body lotion and wait for it to sink in because I absolutely hate that. It's probably because I'm just ultra lazy, but I hate waiting for moisturiser to sink in. Because this isn't technically a lotion or a body butter, it's a um, puree, it sinks in super, super fast, but it leaves your skin looking really hydrated and just feeling really soft and really nourished. One of the main things I love about this is the smell. Literally, it's like just putting perfume on you. You could just put this on and be good to go, to be honest. I could just sit here sniffing this all day. I'm not going to though, don't worry. I think they have two, they do say limited edition, so if you hate wearing fragranced anything, do not go near this with a barge pole, you will hate it. If you like to sort of get on with your day and then every now and again like get a little whiff of your skin and be like, oh that smells amazing, then use this. Plus it moisturises too, and I didn't think it would moisturise, but it does. So yeah. Really, really like that. Um, one other really random thing, which I thought I would include just because if you weren't aware of it, then maybe you will be now, is um, a company magazine. I stopped reading magazines for quite a while just because I was reading blogs. Um, and then um, I heard down the grapevine that company had redesigned their magazine and it had all changed. And now I absolutely love it. And Every month I actually get a little bit excited to go and buy a company magazine, which is a little sad, granted, but um, I just thought I'd share that with you because some of you might not be aware that it had changed or, I don't know, I just like it. It's just super easy to read and just, I just really enjoy this magazine. I'm even tempted to get the subscription and I don't ever get magazine subscriptions, like who gets magazine subscriptions? Not me. Um, so yeah. Loving that too. So I hope you've enjoyed my April favourites. Um, I may even do a May favourites because I am just on a roll with trying out new products at the moment. Um, I got into a bit of a boring routine and then sort of stuck with it for a very long time. And um, I will see you very soon. Bye!